Hey YouTube, what's up? And today I'll be showing you how to make your own dashboard widget. Um, so first what you're going to do and want to do is go to your favorite web browser and basically download the iPhone SDK at developer.apple.com forward slash iPhone. Link will be in the description for those who didn't hear me or can't get that all in at one time. But uh, what you're going to do is go in there and make a free account and uh, download the SDK. Uh, depending on which operating system you use, you're going to download the SDK. And once you do that, you're done with uh, Apple. And you're download the SDK and you're going to want to uh, open dash code. And then I'm going to make an RSS dashboard widget today. So I'm going to choose that. Now here's my RSS feed and I'm going to do uh, Program 94's Twitter. And there we go. Actually, I'm going to cut out the, the ownership there. Oops, that was cool. Goodness gracious. There we go. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do there. I'm going to pull it over here. And basically, the main part is you go to the widget attributes over here. And you're going to want to insert your RSS feed. And choose how many you want. I'm going to do 10 most recent, any date. Show new content badges. And, uh... Show article, date, and time. Once I'm done that, I'm done with this. You don't got to deal with this anymore unless you really want to. Back to the front. And basically, it'll work now. So I can hit run. And there you have it. It works. I'm going to stop here. And I'm going to add some more to it make it look a bit nicer. I'm going to open up the inspector here. And I'm going to click on the blue here. Go to the graphics pane. I'm going to choose some colors. Do black for the top. The bottom, I'm going to do a gray color like my new Twitter background. Go over here. Oops. And I'm going to do this one solid color. I'm going to make this black. And there you go. And then for pictures, it's kind of complex to do pictures. But the easiest way that I figured out to do it is to expand the back here. Oops. And as you can see, there's this picture here. And uh, basically, what you're going to do with that, it's uh, back developer, developed with. And basically, you're going to drag that to the front. And once that's on the front, uh, you're going to want to open the uh, little uh, project files button here. And you're going to open up images. And once you've done that, you have a developed with.png. And then you're going to name the picture you want to use developed with.png. Basically, you're going to delete this like that and drag in developed with.png to the images file. And now you're done with that. You can close that out. You don't need it anymore. And now, I'm going to kind of resize it here, make it a bit not as awkward. I drag it up in here, and we're done. Now I'm going to go to the back here. Well, actually, I'm going to take, turn this loading here and add three dots. It just looks a bit nicer in your finished product. I'm going to the back, and I'm kind of going to adjust the back here just a little bit. I drag this over here a little bit. <sighs> Comparing this to another program, Dash Code is pretty nice compared to uh, Microsoft Access. So, if you're worried this is too complicated, don't worry. This isn't bad at all. I'm going to expand this just here a little bit. I'm going to leave those there for the simplicity of the user. Try to even these out if I can, but it's kind of hard. Now I'm going to take the inspector again up here. I'm going to make the font a bit bigger for the article length. Oops. There it goes. And there's the article length, and I'm also going to make it bold. It kind of show out just here a little bit. Drag the done button up here with it. And basically you're done. So that's how you make a really quick dashboard widget. Go to the front here. This looks really cool. I can hit run up here at the top. And here's your dashboard widget. It looks really nice. It scrolls with momentum with the magic mouse. You know, it's just like an Apple quality dashboard widget. So basically what you're done what you're done there, you're gonna hit stop, hit file, hit deploy. And you're going to want to type, so I'm going to type this up. Uh, 3994 words. 
quarter widget. And then I'm gonna compress oops. So I'm gonna compress with JavaScript for faster downloads. You choose the Mac OS 10 version you want to use. And I'm gonna save it to my disk first. I'm gonna save it to the desktop. Save. And basically, you know, you click on you double click on this. You can uh, replace it. Looks like I've already got one in there from where I tried this before. Hit replace anyway. And there you have it. There is your finished dashboard, which I'm going to hit keep or delete. Keep. And there you are. You're done. You can click on one of those. It's going to open up the tweet. You can go upload it and waiting. So uh, <clears throat> there you go. That's how you make your own dashboard widget. And I'm going to upload this and have the link for this in the description so you can check it out. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. See you later, YouTube. You have a great day.